Today, I'm going to be attempting to get to 100,000 points on every single Black Ops Cold War map. That being said, let's get into it. Alrighty, we have arrived in Poland, and it seems like we visit Poland quite often nowadays. We are on the first map of four, which is D-Machine, and we're going to be attempting to get 100,000 points on every single Black Ops Cold War map. And so my game plan for this map is to just turn on the power, then get the DIE Wonder Weapon, and then upgrade it to the Electric Elemental Upgrade, and then we're just going to try and rack up as many points as possible uh, as fast as we can, and then hopefully we can get to 100,000 points, so let's focus on turning on power. In my previous video, I did how fast could I get all the Wonder Weapons, but the thing about that video is, the second I got the Wonder Weapon, I moved on to the next map, and I kind of felt bad not being able to show me using the Wonder Weapon, and it is quite satisfying in Cold War to kill, like, heaps of zombies at a time with the Wonder Weapon, so don't worry, in this video there's going to be plenty of that. I aim to get the Wonder Weapon on every single map through trials or through building it, so if you're worried about, oh, not getting to see me use the Wonder Weapons, this video will be definitely using them as much as possible. Alright, so let's turn on power. Power is now on, so what we need to do is just access these two terminals so that we can then go into the Dark Aether to get the Pack-A-Punch part machine and we will have Pack-A-Punch, hopefully, at the end of this round, which is round 6. We need to thank the nose of this plane for so graciously floating because before, it wasn't floating for us. We went to the Dark Aether and it started floating for us and that is going to allow us to get Pack-A-Punch. So without that uh, plane floating, we wouldn't be able to turn on Pack-A-Punch. So it's always good to appreciate the, the small things in life. So let's go and turn on the, let's add the machine part and there we go, we have Pack-A-Punch now. Okay, finally, radioactive men has spawned in. So that's what we need, we need the key card that he drops. So I just need to figure out where he actually is and then we need to start trying to kill him. There he is. And why have one radioactive man when you can kill him and then you have two radioactive men? The more the better. Alright, there's the first one down, finally. I love the gallo, it's like great and all, but my god does it take a long time to reload. It is a lot better when it's pack-a-punch because then it loads like two, three bullets at a time. But when it's not pack-a-punch, uh, it takes a fair while. I didn't mean to end the round there, that's alright. That's sort of a sticky bomb, why not? Oh my god, that actually destroyed him. Okay, cool. We have the key card, so we're going to make our way to the weapons lab now, and then get the die remote. There she is. We have the DIE remote. So all we need to do now is go to the DIE machine, and all the zombies will get sucked off. Ah, uh, sucked up, sorry. Oh, sorry. Oh my god, I didn't mean to say that. They'll get sucked up, and then we can get our wonder weapon. Alrighty, I think we've got a fair amount of zombies. That should be enough, surely. Oh, don't walk into the wall. Alright, so what we're going to do is activate this. That will, the door will blow off, and then they will get sucked off, sorry, sucked up by the machine, and then we can get our wonder weapon. Just need to be patient with this step, because, there we go, it's done. I love how some of them make it through, but then some don't. Anyway, we'll just get rid of them here, because there's been a fair amount of times that I have tried to pick up this weapon, and then gotten slammed and trapped by zombies okay so we now have our die shockwave so the next thing that we need to do is start working on the upgrade for that which is the electric elemental upgrade okay there's our first crystal so we're going to suck that up and we're going to shoot this box and that is our first crystal done out of three so i'm not going to be able to do all three in this one dark ether so what i think i'm going to do is invest in stamina up because that way we'll be able to at least run faster. So let's go get our second crystal. Let's get stamina up. I feel like that's a good investment. Oh, of course this guy's right here when I need to get the crystal. Anyway, there's our second crystal just here. We're going to suck that off. Sorry, suck that up. And then we are going to now run down to the bottom and shoot that little box again. Okay, there is our second crystal done. We now just need one more. However, I do feel as though that the Dark Aether like, time limit is going to end. So we might have to wait. Alrighty, and there is our third crystal. Um, I am going to link a Google form in the description of this video. It's going to have two options. going to have Black Ops 3 Zombies and Black Ops Cold War Zombies. What I'd like you guys to do is feel free to fill that out with any challenges slash ideas you'd like me to try. I have plenty planned already, but I want some, you know, creative people to give me more ideas, and one of your ideas could be featured in one of my videos. So we now have the DIE Electro Bolt, 
and this is definitely the most OP weapon upgrade uh, out of all four of the elemental upgrades for this DIE. It absolutely melts through Radioactive Man, and this is what we're going to be using to get our 100,000 points. Okay, we are officially a quarter of the way there, and so far with this Wonder Weapon, I've had no struggles. We are now on round 17, but yeah, this... this Elemental upgrade is so good. We don't need to buy ammo for this gun because it gives you ammo by sucking up zombies So yeah, we're a quarter of the way there and we're on round 17 and so far so good The only issue I have with this gun is it does feel like a bit heavy to use. However, like look at the size of it. It's huge All right, we are officially halfway um, so far again so good it does get a little bit tight in this area but um, it, it, it's, with this gun, like, if you get stuck, all you need to do is press the shoot button and you do a massive lightning bolt and it's pretty much impossible to get stuck. But we now have a double point and we are just going to rack up the points with this. It is so good. Oh my god, it is so satisfying. I will admit, Cold War feels like really satisfying to be able to just plow through zombies. Like, I don't know, it's not, it's not as satisfying on Black Ops 3, but this one, it does feel, I don't know if it's the controller vibrations or what is it, yes, I'm on console, I will be getting a PC hopefully soon, my plan is to get a PC when I'm monetized, because then I'll be able to create much more content, not only on Black Ops 3 and Black Ops Cold War, but all the zombie games, and I really look forward to that, so if you guys want to help me get there, Consider subscribing if you like zombies content, I've got loads planned and we are going to actually buy a chopper gunner because why not, we've got the points. Oh my god, that double points helped us so much then with all the zombies we just killed. So we are actually now officially three quarters of the way through. So we're just gonna suck off, sorry, suck up some zombies here, get some ammo and then it shouldn't be too much longer and we'll have 100,000 points. I'm not gonna lie. This is quite easy with this gun. Uh, it is Cold War, it is a lot easier. Um, but if you guys would like to see a Black Ops 3 version, let me know because that will be a lot more challenging. And then if you'd like to see it with Gobble Gums, which I would prefer because I'm not actually amazing at the game, or without Gobble Gums. Oh my god, I will admit, I'm having a lot of fun. This is actually so satisfying. The noise it makes when you kill them all is just satisfying when you hear so many of them go off at like once. But we are three grand away from 100,000 points and what I think I'm going to do to end things on a high is I'm going to use my chopper gunner to help me get over the line. So let's just try and get as many points as we can here, get to 99,000. There we go. Alright, let's call in the chopper gunner and let's get to 100,000 points on D-Machine. Oh my gosh, this chopper gunner is also very satisfying and fun to use. There we go, we did it. We got to 100,000 points on D-Machine. Now, on to the next map, Firebase Z. Here we go, we are in Vietnam. This guy is driving over the speed limit and we are jumping at the car looking cool as always. So we are now on the second map and we are going to be trying to get to 100,000 points on Firebase Z. Game plan for this is, the Ray K takes a while to build, so what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to do Trials, because that's a quick and easy way to, you know, get the Ray K. However, I think for now we just need to focus on getting the power on. Alrighty, there's our first Ether Reactor on, now two more to go. Oh, there's our second Ether Reactor on, so we now have one more to go, and then we will have successfully turned the power on. And there is our third ether reactor online, and we have now turned on the power. So the next thing I'm going to do is start up a trial, as that is always the quick and easiest way to get the ray case. So let's do that. And we have to remain inside a certain area. These remain inside area like challenges are just an absolute piece of cake. I feel like they're... Oh, I got stuck. I feel like they're just way too easy. However, on the low rounds, I can say that. But uh, oh my god, where did you come from? Um, on the low rounds, I feel I can say that, but uh, on the high rounds, in a very enclosed space, yeah, not so much as fun. You're dead, you're dead. 
I'm almost dead. I needed to get out of there because that was way too many zombies. However, I am invisible, so I can just shoot them in the back. So we are now on epic. We should be up to legendary quite quickly. I don't know how long it's going to take. Those bonus points definitely help. Zombie destroyed. Surely after I get all these zombies, we'll be up to legendary. There we go. Okay, yes, we are up to legendary. So let's just get rid of these two here. And let's make our way to the reward station. And let's hopefully get the Ray K. Which we do. Okay, great. So we are already on round eight. And we are pretty much set up for the rest of the game. All I need to do is pack a punch the Ray K. Alrighty, we have made our way to the pack a punch machine. I think I'm just going to level this up once. I, didn't, I don't need to do twice. That way I can buy some perks. So I think I'm going to get Jug, I'll get Speed Collar, I'll get Mule Kick, and I'll get Stamina Up. So yes, we are now fully set up to try and get to our 100,000 points. So let's go and do that. Hello, Mr. Cheeky Double Points. Luckily, I've got a horde of zombies right behind me. Yet again, another greatly satisfying gun to use. I actually really like the Ray K. I don't know what I rank the, all the Wonder Weapons in order of. Like, I'm not sure what's worst to best in my opinion. But the Ray K is definitely one of my favorites to use, I will admit. Insta kill and gallo? I think so. Oh my gosh. I love the gallo. I mean, to be fair, it is insta kill. I just. How did I just get another insta kill? Anyway, the gallo absolutely ripped through zombies. Uh, yes, there was an insta kill, but you know, we don't need to. We don't need to focus on that. Oh, now we gotta defend the ether reactor. Here we go. Where are you? There you are. Oh, I kind of like missed all of them, which uh, wasn't great. I was going to see if I could get the world record for the fastest time defending the ether reactor, but unfortunately I did not do that. Am I the only one who likes my zombies crispy? Because look at that, while having a double points, Molotovs are so satisfying to use as well. I, I feel like this game doesn't get the love it deserves. I'm having a good time. Uh, it did come out a while ago, however, if you guys enjoy... Cold War videos, then I enjoy making them, so stick around if you want to see some more. And we are now 80,000 points in, we have 20,000 points more to go, and then we have 100,000 points on Firebase Z. Alright, I've lined them all up, so I'm going to try and get as many of them as I can, all while not getting stuck, that would be helpful. Oh, look at that, we leveled up. I hope my level matches my skill level, because... I don't know if that's a high level or not for how good I actually am at the game, but I'm hoping that it does match. Let's throw a symbol monkey and watch them all explode. Do the mimics follow it? No, that, he looked like he went to and then didn't. There we go. Oh my gosh. Even the monkeys are fun to use. This game is fun. I do enjoy it. I do enjoy it. Alright, we have 98,000 points, and what I'm going to do is use the chopper gunner like I did last game, and we are going to get to 100,000 points while in a helicopter, just raining down bullets on Firebase Z. Firebase Z was quite easy. Uh, I don't know if it was... Mm, I, feel like it was I feel like it was, in my eyes, easier than D-Machine. Uh, I did enjoy this a lot, so let's just wait, because once we get out of the chopper, we will have... 100,000 points. And there we go. We did it. So Firebase C is complete. We now move on to the next map, which is Malder Toten. Berlin, Germany. Night time. Past my bedtime. Let's get it. Beautiful map. We are seeing if we can get to 100,000 points on Malder Toten. So, game plan. As when in doubt, turn the power on. It's typical zombies fashion is turning on the power, so let's do that. I actually just wanted to say thank you guys, because I literally went from like having five or six subscribers for like two, three weeks of my channel, and then like the last couple days, I'm almost at 100, and I don't know, I'm just really appreciative, so thank you, I'm, I'm, I love doing this. So if you'd like to see more Zombies content, I've got loads more planned, and I hope to never disappoint, I hope to make the best content I can for you, and I just enjoy playing the game, so I'm just going to share my experiences playing the games. I'm going to do a couple challenges here and there, and once again, thank you guys for your support. Even the comment section has been so nice, and it is really nice to see, and that's what motivates me to keep going. And we now have our first electrical fuse, and that is one out of two that we need to turn on the power. 
Okay, there is our second Tempest kill, and we now have two electrical fuses, and we can now turn the power on. Okay, and power is now on, so the next thing we need to do is activate Pack-a-Punch. Oh my god, does him doing that give him more health from my health? I didn't know that. I thought it was just an attack. Anyway, he's dead, and Pack-a-Punch is now open. Alright, the next part of my plan is to do Trials, so we can hopefully get the Wonder Weapon. I just, if I'm being honest, I just cannot be bothered to do it. So all we need to do is remain inside the switch control room and that should hopefully get us to rare. Okie dokie, we got rare. Okay, let's go start another trial. Not gonna lie, I haven't really used the gallow much uh, this challenge, but I guess, you know, getting the wonder weapons as quickly as possible doesn't um, allow you to use it uh, that much, but let's hope we can get the wonder weapon, please. Nope, we get a perk. Wait, what even is that? Oh, it's speed cola. Oh, that's alright. I was going to buy Speed Caller anyway, so that's fine. I don't think the game could have picked a smaller room to try and get kills in, but anyway, that's fine. We'll run with it. We've got a double point. Oh my god, I just need to not die. Okay, we got Legendary. Let's just get out of here. Let's go get our reward now. We don't, we don't need to hang around. Surely it gives it to me. Come on. Oh, it's another perk. and It's literally a useless perk as well. I mean... We did get some essence though, I mean, we did get a, a good amount of essence, money, whatever you want to call it, points. Oh, satisfying Molotov kill. Uh, it is a fire sale, so we may as well hit the box. Oh, we got it! We got it! Okay, that, alright, that makes up for giving me Deadshot Daiquiri. Okay, so all we need now is stamina up, and then we're pretty much set up to get our 100,000 points, assuming that I don't die. I've decided to do some more trials to see if we could get any more good perks or if we could get like heaps of essence. I don't know if you actually make money, but um, yeah, this gun is kind of uh, wrecking on this rooftop. It, it does get a bit uh, hectic up here, but we do have the Cerberus and this is easily, I've said it, my favorite wonder weapon on Cold War. It is so fun to use. Look at that. Literally, our rewards just keep upgrading and upgrading and upgrading. Let's see how fast we can rip through this panzer. Oh my god. See, this is why this weapon is just way too good to use. And it's actually fun as well. It's not like... It's actually fun to use. I do enjoy it. Oh, you guys are just absolutely destroyed. I want you guys to leave in the comments what your favorite wonder weapon on Cold War is. Because... I just want to see how many people will either agree with me or disagree with me that this is uh, the best one because I thoroughly enjoy using it. Alright, we are officially halfway. Oh, I get the double points now. It's alright. We are officially halfway. Um, so far, things are quite easy because this is definitely the most OP wonder weapon. So things are going good. We now have 50,000 more points to get and then we will have completed the 100,000 points challenge on Maldur Toten. I really just like don't see myself dying. I didn't even I'm not even going to pack a punch it twice. Like I haven't pack a punch any of the other guns twice, but look at that just destroy that mangler. Um I haven't even pack punched any other wonder weapons twice, but this one definitely doesn't need to be pack punched twice. It is so good. It's actually quite a high round. I don't know if it's like really high because of how long it took me to get the gun or what, but I like it doesn't feel like round 27. Maybe that's just me. There we go. 100,000 points. We use that Molotov to end things off. We completed the challenge. We got to 100,000 points on Maodo Toten. Now onto the final map, which is Forsaken. Forsaken, Forsaken. Probably my least favorite map, but that's okay. We are going to be getting a pretty cool wonder weapon, the Chrislax, and that will help us get to 100,000 points. If we can get to 100,000 points on Forsaken, that means that we will have successfully got to 100,000 points on every Cold War map. So, as per usual, let's turn on the power. Alright, the only thing standing in between me and power is this big doofus, and I got no idea why they'd made it so hard to kill him. Maybe I'm just bad at the game, but 
In Black Ops 3, you literally shoot the Margot one time in the face, that's it. There's one out of three done. This guy, you shoot him eight or nine times. Look, he doesn't even, like, remotely go down that much. So annoying, so annoying. But anyway, we will persist and we will... There we go, I got him in the face, okay. There we go, finally, we got the Abomination, probably my least favourite mini boss. I don't really like Forsaken that much, I think it's my least favourite map in Cold War. Uh, the Wonder Weapon is pretty cool though, so that's alright. So we are now going to slam this button down and that is power now on. We now have Pack-a-Punch available, however we don't have enough points at the moment, so you know what we're going to do, as per usual, we are going to just make our way down here, kill a few zombies, then we'll start Trials. Alright, I'm actually going to pack a punch the gun because I'm not confident that we're going to get the Chris Lax, like, first go on the trial machine because last time we did that, we literally got, we did one, we got legendary, we got a perk, we did it again, we got another perk, and then we got it out of the box. So, you know, hopefully my luck's a bit different, but we now just have to kill zombies in the cinema. These guys are all uh, abusing me and rushing in quite quickly because I have a feeling that they want to see the new Barbie movie. I'm um, not going to lie, not my uh, personal choice of movie to watch, however, seems to be their per personal choice, so that's okay, we won't judge. And once again, we get a perk. Actually, we get Jug. I, I did want to buy Jug, so that's okay. Let's try and, like, sneak around and get this double points, then get all the essence. Uh, I would have preferred the Chris Lax, like, first go, but that's alright. We will just wait for this challenge to end, and then we will start another challenge. The good thing about it being higher rounds when you do trials is that then they're easier to complete, so that's okay. Um, I was going to build the Chris Lax, however, it is, like, a bit annoying to do. So I just thought, you know what, I'm just going to do as many trials as I can to get it as quickly as possible. Once again, the trials has given us the smallest room to try and kill zombies in, in round 12. I mean, I am lucky that I do have my shotgun pack a punch, but like, Jesus, it gets a bit, uh, gets a bit crowded in here, that's alright. So we're on Epic now, we should literally be so close to Legendary, and as soon as we are, I'm, I'm booking it. Okay, there we go, we got Legendary. So, as, as said before, I am gonna book it out of here, and we're gonna make our way to the Trials Machine. Hopefully it gives us the Krizlax, because if it does, then that means we are fully set up, and we have all the perks we need. I don't think I need any other perks, because... I don't need Mule Kick for ammo because the Chris Lax is a melee weapon anyway. Uh, we've got Jug, obviously, and then we have Stamina Up, so that's always helpful. Um, Alright, let's see if we can get it. And we do. Perfect. Okay, we have the Chris Lax, we are fully set up, and we are going to now just rail through zombies to get to our 100,000 points. Actually, while I'm here, I may as well just pack a punch it. So we'll only do the first pack a punch. We can't even afford the second one anyway. And hopefully that lasts us till... Can we get ammo mods on it? No, we can't. Hopefully that lasts us till 100,000 points. So in my previous video, yeah, I did feel bad that I literally got the wonder weapons. And then once I got the wonder weapon, I'm not even joking you. I didn't even like continue to play with them. I literally just quit the game and went on to the next map because, you know, I gotta, I gotta be recording as efficiently as possible. So, yeah, I got the Wonder Weapons and then just backed out of the game straight away. So, it's actually fun to do this challenge because I actually get to use them a bit, which is always good. Alrighty, this double point should hopefully get us halfway. The good thing about it being a melee Wonder Weapon is that you get, like, the extra points for it being a melee kill. So that's always helpful. It's probably going to be one of the maps where I complete this challenge a lot quicker. Um, however, we now are halfway, and so far so good. Haven't even remotely almost gone down once, which is uh, a good sign, a good sign. Cheeky little double points, you always take that. Unfortunately, there are not many zombies left, though, so it was kind of a little bit of a pointless double point, but that's okay. We are on round 22, and we are 71k in. Oh, once again, COD Zombies makes it so satisfying to just slice through zombies. I will admit, I think the map's a bit of an L in my opinion, but the Wonder Weapon is definitely a W, and definitely in the future for a video, I want to see how far I can get with the Chris Lax, because this is definitely really fun to use. 98, 99... And 100,000. We did it. We got to 100,000 points on Forsaken, and that means that we got to 100,000 points on every single Black Ops Cold War map. I had a lot of fun making this video. 
If you guys enjoy this zombie content and you'd like to see more, consider subscribing. That's all from me though. Peace.